I'm back to show you what I did after I uh, harvested the CDs, the covers. I collaged the the actual CD and now I'm obsessed. This is so much fun and I made a shaker in the middle even though I used, I, I guess my beads were too big so it won't shake but I did put some beads on the outside. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put a um, sentiment on it, this one. And I have some, some other ones, but I'll show you that later. Right now, I'm going to show you how I made it. Okay, you lay down paper of your choice. Here I use book page. And because I used the thin book page, I was able to use um, a glue stick. But I suggest you, you use something stronger than the glue stick. And then you cut out the disc. You cut around the edges. And then you do the same for the middle of the disc if you want to make a shaker. If not, you don't have to cut out the middle. Then I went ahead and I distressed the edges. Sometimes you may have some jagged edges. You go back around with your um, cutting tool or you can use um, a memory board or something to smooth away the um, the ragged edge. I have product packaging. You can use acetate. I'm just showing you the procedure. Cut it. The easiest way is to cut a small piece. You don't need a big piece. You want it to be open like a book. You want to use beads, unless you don't mind that the um, it doesn't shake, because in this one it doesn't shake because the beads are too big. <laughs> you want to use small beads or um, something that's less dimensional, especially if you don't want the back to protrude like that. Open it like a book, put double-sided tape. Oh, I hope this doesn't give me trouble because now I can see it may be too wide, this one. <clears throat> oh, I know how to fix it. So, put double sided tape there. Now, I don't want it too wide. I'm going to cut it down now. But you don't need a big piece because it's a small opening. Okay, now put double sided tape here. And here. Some people may have a fuse tool. I do not, so I'm using a double sided tape. I do ha have, um, later in the video, I will show you where I use glue. I found that using double sided tape was best because the beads didn't get stuck in the glue. Um, I, I'll show you later in the video where I did use glue. So if you don't have double sided tape, you can use glue, but you have to. Um, wait a while for the glue to dry before shaking it. Burnish. You always have to burnish when you lay double-sided tape to get rid of the bubbles. Now you're making a pocket so you only take off the side piece and the bottom piece. You keep the top piece still. Um, you don't take the protective backing off just yet. Not until you add your sea beads or whatever you like to put in to make the uh, shaker. There we are. Now, just make a pocket. <clears throat> Now you can add your beads inside. And I do have, because like I said, this is my 85th time. Look at that. I'm filming this. And I have put, added too much. You don't want too many beads. Just play around. Just enough that it wiggle around. Then you take the top uh, piece off so you can seal your pocket. Now 
burn shit to make sure it's down there. Go from this end. There you are. And there you are. Cute little packet. And then, then the next step is you add a uh, double sided tape and glue all around your disc. Position your little packet over the uh, window, and then you add another sheet of paper. Um, here I'm using black cardstock, a little heavier than the you know the paper in the front. So really make sure you glue it and um, use the double sided tape. Then you burnish it all down. Okay, and if it becomes a little too tight for it to come down, shake it down. And then, oh, you see it. Oh, and then all you do is cut out the other side. Okay, it's all cut out. You may not want to use blue beads on the back with black because <laughs> you won't be able to see it. But um, there you are. Now, I did glue a, a packet together. It works, but you have to wait till this dries, and it may take a, a couple of hours because you don't want the glue to stick into the, um, I mean, the beads to stick into the glue. So if you don't have, it still works. And that is all it takes. And you don't <clears throat> have to do the... The glue uh, you could just tape and it lies flat but I'm going to put probably a liner inside decorate it so it could be kind of like a card that you could give for happy mail or something and the recipient like here I, I put made with love the recipient could have a, a case to put it in that's fully decorated I'm going to do that and I'll come back and show you that later but I just wanted to show you ba the basic construction of it you can also collage down like use different kind of pieces to collage down and then cut around the edge but like I said this is so fun I, I know people are like okay shaker cards and things have been around but this is my first time doing it And it could be used as a fun embellishment in a junk journal. So you can put it down in here. I'd like to just thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.